Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 12, lesson 3, metric units of mass. Page number is 787. Okay, guys, in this lesson we'll talk about mass. Mass is the amount of matter an object has. The amount of matter the stuff an object has. The mass of an object is not affected by gravity. Like for example, it is how much big, what is its size, how much the matter in it, that doesn't depend on the gravity. However, an object's weight differs depending on gravity. Like how much heavy is this, okay? Like this six apple, how much matter in them, what is their size, how big they are, uh, the mass, the matter in them, it doesn't depend on the gravity. But the weight, how much heavy they are or how much light, it depends on gravity. Now, uh, there are two units of mass, grams, uh, which short form is G, and kilograms, whose short form is Kg. Gram, guys, it's a small unit, very small unit. The mass of a penny is about one gram. Like this small penny, it's about one gram. And kilogram, it's a little bit big unit. The mass of six medium-sized apples is about one kilogram. Like these six apples, its weight is around one kilogram. So you know that gram is a small unit, very small, like a penny. And kilogram is a big unit, like you can say the weight of six medium-sized apples. Okay, now one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. If you want to convert from kilogram, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. If you want to convert from kilograms to grams, we multiply by 1,000. See guys, the arrow shows we are going from kilograms to grams. So we multiply by 1000 and if you want to convert from grams to kilograms we divide by 1000 okay let's start the lesson now what do you think guys this laptop is it two grams or two kilograms two grams like two small pennies of course not two kilograms similarly here uh, this one rabbit it's three grams three grams is too small like just three pennies the rabbit is a little bit big so you can say three kilograms. Uh, this cap, of course, not 25 kilograms. It's huge, 25. One kilogram is uh, around six apples. So 25 is huge. So 25 grams. This beer, 450 grams or 450 kilograms. 450 grams means even less than one kilo. One kilograms. Why? Because one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So 450 grams is even less than half kilo, half kilograms. Because half kilogram is 500 grams, because one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So a half kilogram is 500 grams. So 450 kilograms. Similarly, guys, here in the next lesson, you have to, uh, on the next page, I'm sorry, uh, in independent practice, you have to solve it by yourself first and then match your answers through this video okay here in question 9 the table list items that can be found in the classroom these items estimate the mass of each object record your estimate in the table so what do you think a glue bottle is around how much you can say 20 grams or maybe 200 grams if the bottle is a little bit big if the bottle is small one you can say just 20 grams a paper clip, 1 gram, very small. Pencil, 12 grams or 10 grams, or because we are estimating, guys. So it can be close to this one. 14 grams, 15 grams, it will be normal. Even 20 grams, normal. Stapler, 200 grams. If it is big, maybe around 1 kilogram also, right? If it is a heavy... <laughs> if it is a heavy metal one so maybe 200 uh, maybe two kilograms or maybe one kilogram like that okay 
So it depends which stuffer is this, but maybe in the classroom you have a small one, just 200 grams. Okay, next page here, guys. Uh, Taylor brought a large bag of peanuts. Large bag. So what do you think? It's one gram or one kilogram? Of course, one kilogram. If they ask just one peanut or two, three, five peanuts, we will say one gram. But they said a large bag of peanuts, of course, one kilogram. Elisa is buying six oranges that costs dollar one per kilogram. Is it reasonable to say that the cost of oranges will be greater than six dollars? No, of course not. Because one dollar for one kilogram, six oranges, because six apples on the first page of lesson, we told you guys, six apples is around, six medium-sized apples, is around one kilogram. So six oranges, uh, maybe a little bit heavier than that. Six oranges, of course, not six kilos, because each orange is not of one kg one kilogram so uh, six oranges less than six dollars maybe two dollars two kilograms maximum if the oranges are bigger one okay list five classroom objects that have a mass greater than one kilogram so you can list by your own also I wrote some here Items with greater mass cost more money to ship. To ship means to send from one place to another. So would it cost more to ship a box of 8 markers or a box of 20 paper clips? The number of items are more here, 20. But the paper clip is very light, just like 1 gram maybe. 8 markers, marker maybe, 1 marker maybe 20 grams. Even 1 marker may be heavier than all of them. So, of course, when the weight is this of markers is more, it will cost more. So, 8 markers have a greater mass than 20 paper clips. Describe a real-world situation where you would estimate the mass of something using a metric unit. Uh, they are telling you here the situation of an elevator. I can estimate the total kilograms loaded in the elevator to make sure it is under the weight limit. Okay. Uh, you can write your own also guys here any real world situation where you used to estimate the mass of something using metric units so i hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr sal and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day